Welcome to 2004, and here we are going to talk little and quickly about what we in 2024 register as presented in 2019 due to the experience of two services in 2011 and 2006. Mendo Liquid Planning foresees that part of the project activities or all project activities are scheduled not according to a rigid logical sequence due to immeasurable constructability, but rather due to scheduling the activities according to various restrictions. Restrictions of space, resources, desires, contractual orders. So observe that in this Gantt diagram, there are only mandatory logical restrictions, which are defined as impossible to do without them. And scheduling is done due to an understanding of what is to be done and under what restrictive conditions it can be done. Fear Planning Liquido was used in large services in 2006 and 2011 and was published to the community after being released in 2019. It establishes an innovative and unique procedure because avoiding paradigms, but supported by current recognized management procedures, it establishes the possibility of working within restrictions. And the most interesting thing is that these restrictions can change all the time. Resource limits, arbitrary impositions and stoppages, imposition of particular contractual or momentary or political desires, the most interesting construction logistics for the financial economic stakeholder management and space limitations are the five main pillars. I believe this method is a milestone in project management because there is no other like it. It is not scheduling due to resource constraints. It is not a rigid logical sequence that I define to achieve a previously defined goal. And worse, Eu... I need to do it and they won't let me do it. Quem não me deixa fazer? Who won't let me do it? Limited resources and all five mentioned. The environment is changing all the time. So these limits and restrictions can also change. I believe it is essential reading for you to carry out management that is not focused on this or that but that has a set of techniques that in part of the project are convenient and in other parts are foolish. In the same way, running the entire project with a single methodology can be an addiction or a complete lack of knowledge. We are living in times of great dynamics of restrictions. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, sometimes you have, sometimes you don't. And this way, you will certainly avoid contractual additions, headaches, arguments, because everything is liquid including your patients. Yeah. Notice here on this screen, we don't have little arrows that tie the activities together. We have scheduling activities by priorities, by considerations, by importance, which meet all the restrictions that we normally encounter on a daily basis. Just to contextualize net planning, it is not something new. It is just an adaptation of the CPM critical path method from 1950 to a reality in the 2000s, 2020, as it was launched in 2019. It promotes the flexibility and adaptability of CPM to reality, so it is not a change in the concept of CPM. And look, those who need to analyze added value due to contractual obligation or inspiration can still do so. It was applied in 2006 in the constitution of the city of Samba here in Rio de Janeiro, when two companies were hired to do the same thing in a dispute over technique and competence. One of them used liquid planning in its most primitive form. The other used what is called CPM. The result was surprising. In 2011, we applied the same technique due to a need. The contract provided for changes to permit conditions, availability, and logistics every two weeks or less. Without this technique, it would be impossible to adapt to electricity regulatory standards in 29 buildings simultaneously. Follow our movement, because we will present training in five steps in a timely manner here in our space, so that you can promote the implementation of this methodology in your project or part of it. First step, identify the analytical structure of the project and the producing activities. Also, document all project requirements so that in step two, you can understand what constraints affect your project work. Desire, stoppages, every classification presented has an author. Who has the desire or gives the order? 
who authorized or defined strikes, who limited resources. So your planning arises depending on step one, what is to be done, and step two, who or what is not allowed to be done. Then apply this scheduling device. This was the name given in the technique I developed. And it makes the calculation of these restrictions, the calculation of dates due to these restrictions presented, and you can justify the time, the cost, the involved to those who created the restriction of the project projects you're managing. Your project activities are part of it. Fourth step, generating an instant action plan, which shows what is possible to do with such restrictions. Based on this, it is possible to talk to those involved in restricting, renegotiating restrictions, permissions, limits, because instantly a new action plan will appear, showing the advantages and the disadvantages of reducing restrictions or changing restrictions in pursuit of contractual goals. Finally, in our work, we will simulate the real performance of the project affected by the uncertainty of what happens at the time of execution and also affected by the news that awaits us in the future, following the measurement due to the dynamism and inconsistency of those involved or the development environment, giving new restrictions, reducing restrictions or changing restrictions. There is a very simple and quick example. This is the work we have to do. The rigid, mandatory connections have already been presented. And now we have restrictions applied here in this system, but in particular, we will show the restrictors, and in this case, simpler. We have limits on production teams. They don't give us more teams and we have a practically infinite permission limit. So, although we have our limits of teams, teams, someone allows us to work anywhere. Based on these restrictions, the calculation presents the following action plan. This is the plan we have to work on. Based on restrictions, optimizing idleness, optimizing indirect cost, optimizing all parameters necessary for good management. If this deadline is not adequate, we can increase the number of teams, the number of teams. However, if a restriction appears, such as I'm only allowed to work in three locations simultaneously. Well, someone created a new restriction. There is no rigid sequence that I have to disassemble. I'll ask you to calculate it. We have a new possible plan catering to my teams and limited teams and now allowed to do a maximum of two or three simultaneously. So here the scenario changed and it could get worse if I had fewer teams or fewer permissions. Instead of three, I only had two simultaneous permissions. All of this in a simulation at the beginning or at any time in a simulation after the evaluated performance of the past period. And here we quickly have new plan. This new plan really meets low anxiety, low overhead, and all other parameters. But from now on, we only have two simultaneous permissions with two teams or two teams. All this to do what we could do this way. Empty the place, stop the work on the place, put everyone working with infinite teams, with zero restrictions, zero holidays, and we finished everything very quickly. But if that's not the case, you must have understood that it is liquid planning, that it suits the continent. He works according to the limits of the continent. The continent's limits are the restrictions imposed on us. And as it is instantaneous, it is possible to demonstrate that the restrictors are responsible and negotiate with them. The success of achieving goals does not depend on you. It depends on those involved who create the records.